Thank you, thank you. So you, do you know much about the honor reef? Uh, yes, I've worked in it before. Really? Yes. Like? In how? Oz. Mm -hmm. uh, Oz, uh, I worked with him in Oz. Great. And I know of his work, it's growing up, I've seen his work. And I'm very happy uh, for him to get this uh, day. And I would like to tell you, Guzman, congratulations. This is long overdue, and you deserve it. Great. Your name again? Luis Torres. Yes. The Honorary? Have you met him before or seen his movies? I have seen a few of his movies, but I'm not really that familiar with his career at all, um, unfortunately. But I'm assuming that tonight will be an education for him. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
seven bricks over here. Oh, where are they? The green? That's a lot of bottles, yeah, but that's good. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of drinks to drink. That's great. My name is Max. I've been on the EOC for too many years, and I'm glad to be here again. Great, Thanks. great. You're feeling good today. How are you? Okay. Yeah. You? Good. Are you excited? Everybody, no one gets fed without a ticket. Everybody, nobody, without a ticket. Okay, let me have two, please. Thank you. Oh, and my guest, can you give me the name of my guest? Okay, I'm actually going to grab somebody for the first time in my life. Okay.
because he's, he's young, he's a character actor, and he works all the time. So I have a lot of questions for him. Thanks a lot. Enjoying the food? Enjoying the food? Is this your first EEOC event? Is this your first EEOC event?
be a whole lot of fun. We got here, we got Shabbat and Luis Guzman. My name is Michael Dewey. I have this fellow chair of events. And if I ever decide to do this again, shoot me <laughs> in the leg. Check out the guy. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, and then so also, I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, I'll take Nelson over there. We're going to get somebody else that we're going to get some drinks and stuff. I'm going to have a good time. I'll buy a drink bottle and I'll mix, you know. I come on. Can you work for me? I'll buy you. I know you can. Well, yeah. well, I met you.
to finish it.
I know the need for my involvement in this strike. This strike means no work for you right now. It means there's no income coming in, and from commercials that is. And the sooner we finish this strike, and the sooner we win the strike, the sooner there are jobs available again to us where we can earn proper wages. But every day that goes by, there are hundreds of jobs that are being given to non-union people, and they're accepting these jobs. And the only way to get through to them is to be out there picketing and being at the strike headquarters and giving out flyers. And however little bit of time you have, give that time. That's all we need is a little bit of your time to help us out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, testing. Good evening. We will begin the presentation in about 10 minutes. Thank you all for your patience. In, in the meantime, we have some information on the non-traditional casting project. They are keeping files of people of color and people with disabilities, and they are supported by SANG. They are the only source in New York, so please get your headshots in there, get all your information in there so we can have a complete database people of color and people with disabilities. I'm going to be passing these around and they will be available at the front when you need. All right, thank you. No contribution? Oh.
and I need to do a couple of things. We're running out of time. They say SAG is going to lose their lease. We're all going to become squatters at about 9 o'clock. All right. All the Latinos in the house, let me hear you say, what boss? What boss? Yo, that was It's Latino recognition night. All are hereby baptized as honorary Latinos for tonight. So, so now I want to hear all the Latinos in the house and the non-Latinos in the house say, Cueva! So I'm going to talk fast and I'm going to keep us moving 
right along. The purpose of the Ethnic Employment Opportunity Committee is to educate the industry about the need for a more realistic, thus a more diverse portrayal of the, Amer the modern American scene and to help our membership reach those industry leaders with their multi-talents and their rich cultural backgrounds. Now, Latinos will soon be the largest minority in the United States. Yeah. Yes. Yet yeah. employment statistics show that Latinos are grossly misunderrepresented in television and film casting. Right. Latinos spend $350 billion, that's billion with a B, dollars in the United States, including $6 billion on entertainment. Now for many years, and in a wide variety of ways, the Screen Actors Guild has been sending a strong message to the entertainment community that diversity means Latinos, it means Asian Pacific Islanders, it means women especially over 40, it means seniors to disabled, and the black community. And if you're not putting them in your programming, then you're not representing the American scene. generosity. 
generosity. That's truly generosity. Now, before we continue, uh, we have a couple of quick announcements to make. Okay, uh, first of all, we're going to have many of first say a quick word from all of and then we're going to hear from our strike uh, 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 leader, Ger uh, Gerald Klein, and then quickly we're also going to have uh, Henry Leva, who is going to be speaking to us about the Spanish language contract. We're going to do this quickly because we have such a program for you this evening. Manny, quickly. Thank you very much. I wanted to say to you that on behalf of Ola, a good 40-50% of the turnout here tonight is because we did a major telephone campaign getting over maybe a hundred some odd people in here beyond what was already in here now. We have been making this effort in order to support the strike. It is important that we get the support of the Latino community at the strike. If we don't have their support, we won't have the support of the general community when it comes to negotiations the next time we go around in three years after we have this particular negotiation solved. And we need your support at the strike lines. Yes. We need it on a daily basis. I know you work during the day, but there's sometimes when you're free, get over there. It's a lot of fun, camaraderie. You get a t-shirt. Yes. I'm waiting for mine. Extra large. They don't have them. Yes. Hey, thank you, Manny Alfaro. Ladies and gentlemen, from the strike headquarters, Mr. Gerald Klein. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to see the turnout here. Uh, I was here last year. When we moved to the new building, we realized that we're going to need a bigger space as this grows. Uh, a lot of faces here that I've in strike headquarters, a lot of faces that have participated in the strike headquarters, um, feeling phone calls and trying to figure out where we're going next and where we're going to hit them. Uh, lots of good things happening. We're hurting them every day in a different way. Sooner or later, they're going to discover that it makes more sense to forces that incentivize growing community and the economic impact that you folks have. The thing is, that we'll pay you for it. And that's what we're all working for. We're working for better wages and working conditions. of the importance of the Spanish language community, the Latino community, and uh, the whole diversity of the American scene. So, uh, Henry, come on up. Tell us what's going on. Yeah! yeah. Hi, I'm Henry Levin. I'm a Latino. <laughs> um, one of the reasons I'm here tonight is to talk about the contract and give you the details of the interim agreement and what asking for and why we really need to be a part of the strike and be a force in it. But before I get to that, I'm going to give you the, the carrot. Next week, uh, we're planning a huge event for Thursday. Uh, I was on the phone today with Los Angeles, and they committed to it. San Francisco.
in touch with the OLA. You can get in touch with the website. It's through the 800 number. You can also call SAG headquarters. Um, is that New York time or 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock, New York time. It's going to be 9 o'clock LA time. We're synchronizing so that at the same time, hopefully there are going to be thousands of people on the street. One of the things that we're, we're hoping is that everybody or as many people as possible will bring flags from their country of origin. The biggest flag is going to be the American flag because we're all in America now and this is where we live and this is where we make our living. But we want the colors from where we come and what we contribute to what we have here. So, so please put it in your calendar. 12 o'clock next Thursday, June 1st. Be in Manhattan. It's going to be a big deal. And you all can be a part of it. Okay? Okay? idea of what the contract's about, what the implications are for Spanish language. So I made a couple of calls, and this is what the deal is. As far as program, which is the best we can do for, for commercials running on Univision, Televisión, Galavisión. Originally we wanted Galavisión to be its own other payment. We can't get that, but what we're looking for is a 25% increase on the payment per cycle for a commercial running in that program category. As well as that, for wild spots, that's when they do stuff locally, we're looking for a 12% increase across the board. As far as stuff playing overseas in South America, Central America, Mexico, we're looking for a 100% increase. They've been getting a free deal for that for a long time. We're going for, instead of three sessions, the three session fees per six months, we're going for six session fees. And for the Caribbean, we're looking for a 50% increase at uh, from going from two session fees to three session fees. What does this mean? It means we're going for significant increases, but even more than that, they're reasonable. It's not something crazy that we're asking for that there's no chance of us getting. We have a reasonable chance of getting most of what we're asking for. But we're only going to do it if we get full support from everybody. So we really need to come out and force and use these signs that they've come up with and show our colors. So I'm hoping that everybody can show up. If you have any questions about this, please use the numbers for the strike headquarters. Get in touch with Ola. The information's out there. There's a lot of misinformation, too. We're our own worst enemy. We don't know what the real deal is. We're going to hurt ourselves. And most importantly, let's not take any jobs that are not on an interim agreement during this time in commercials. And if you have any questions about that, please call the strike hotline and get the information. It's there for all of us. Okay? Yeah. I'll see you Thursday. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you.
sister right here. We want to stick to the strike. We are going to win. We stick together. And we need you up at that strike headquarters and at the picket lines, right? Yeah. Without much further ado, ladies and gentlemen, then now it's my pleasure. We're going to show you a video of our honoree, Mr. Luis Guzman. And then we're going to have a
man, I said, what's your job here? You know, and I said, no problem with you taking over. I mean, you will sit, and you have corners. But yo, ever since you came in, man, I've been a little man. I get my face in the dirt every day. I just want to know what I got to do to get any good graces. Can't just get man. Thank you. 